this video, we will delve into the inspiring launch of the Together in Defense of Township Economy campaign, or TITE, a new initiative by Zendile Debula, the president of Operation Dujula. Taking place on October 31st in Nelody, Sowito, TITE aims to empower South Africans to take ownership of their local sposa shops and contribute to the revitalization of township economies. This campaign has the potential to reshape the landscape of small business ownership in South African communities and bring about economic self-sufficiency, stability, and dignity for residents. Join us as we explore what this campaign means for Sowito and communities across South Africa and why it has generated so much excitement. To truly understand the significance of the tight campaign, we must first look at the broader economic challenges facing South African townships today. Townships are communities that, historically, were created on the outskirts of cities under apartheid policies, often lacking basic resources and opportunities for growth. Even years after apartheid, economic inequality remains high in many of these areas. For decades, high unemployment rates, a lack of educational resources, and a shortage of well-paying jobs have left township residents without many paths to economic stability. While these communities are vibrant and full of potential, access to economic opportunities is still an ongoing challenge, and the gap between economic opportunity in townships versus cities remains wide. In recent years, small businesses, especially sposa shops, have become central to township economies. Sposa shops, which are small informal convenience stores, provide communities with quick access to essential goods like food, toiletries, and other daily items. But while these shops play a significant role in township life, many of them are owned by foreign operators, which has sparked concerns among local residents who feel that more should be done to empower South Africans in these spaces. This sense of alienation has been a growing issue for years, with many community members expressing a desire for local ownership and self-determination. Operation Dujula has been a vocal advocate for giving South Africans more control over local business ownership, and TITE is the latest, and perhaps the most ambitious, campaign to support that mission. So what exactly will TITE do? At the core of TITE's mission is the idea of empowering local residents to manage and operate their own sposa shops. Through this campaign, over 50 sposa shops stocked with essential goods will be handed over to local entrepreneurs who live and work in the community. At the campaign's launch, Zendile Dabula will personally oversee the handover of these businesses, a move that represents both a symbolic and practical step toward reclaiming South African economic spaces. Tight is not just about putting businesses in local hands, it's about creating opportunities, providing tools, and supporting community members in their journey to independence. Dabula has expressed that the campaign is a way of restoring dignity to local entrepreneurs and giving them a real chance to build a livelihood for themselves and their families. In her own words, Tight is about more than just shops, it's about providing opportunities for our people to thrive. This campaign is designed to instill a sense of pride, ownership, and confidence among local South Africans. As part of this initiative, TITE will also provide essential training, mentorship, and resources for these entrepreneurs. This support is crucial because it ensures that they have the skills and knowledge needed to manage their businesses effectively. Running a small business can be challenging, and TIGHT aims to equip these local entrepreneurs with the tools to navigate issues like managing stock, serving the community, and handling finances. By giving residents these resources, TIGHT is doing more than handing over shops, it's helping to build sustainable businesses that will continue to grow and serve the community long term. This approach of offering both resources and mentorship makes TITE an innovative solution to township economic development, with an emphasis on sustainable impact over time. One of the reasons why this campaign has received widespread attention is its potential to create jobs and stimulate the local economy. Unemployment remains one of the biggest challenges facing South Africa, and initiatives like TITE are seen as vital in providing job opportunities. By empowering local entrepreneurs to manage sponsor shops, 
the campaign encourages the flow of money within the community. When businesses are locally owned, revenue generated from these shops stays within the community rather than flowing out, as it often does when businesses are owned by outside operators. This, in turn, can lead to a multiplier effect, where money spent in these local shops contributes to the livelihoods of other community members, thereby boosting the township's economy as a whole. The excitement around Tide's launch highlights the optimism and hope that many residents feel about this opportunity. As one community member expressed, it's time for us to take charge of our economy and support one another. This sentiment is echoed by many others who view this campaign as a chance to build a stronger, more self-sufficient community. For Sawito residents and surrounding areas, Tight is not just another economic initiative, it's a step towards achieving independence and pride in local ownership. With a focus on community empowerment, Tight represents a proactive approach to addressing some of the social and economic challenges that have historically affected South African townships. For Operation Dujila, Tight also marks a continuation of their broader advocacy for economic justice and empowerment. This organization has consistently worked to promote policies that benefit local South Africans, particularly in underrepresented and underserved communities. Tight is a clear reflection of this mission, focusing on township economic self sufficiency as a way to support sustainable development. Through campaigns like Tight, Operation Dujula aims to address the economic disparities faced by township residents and provide solutions that bring about tangible change. In conclusion, the launch of the Tide campaign is a groundbreaking development in the pursuit of economic self-sufficiency for township communities in South Africa. By placing Spaza shops into the hands of local entrepreneurs, providing them with necessary resources, and fostering a sense of ownership, Tide stands as a powerful example of community-driven change. This campaign offers more than economic benefits, it brings a renewed sense of hope, pride, and unity to Sawito and other townships that will hopefully serve as a model for similar initiatives in the future. The support and enthusiasm from residents show that there is a deep desire for this kind of initiative, and as it grows, Tite has the potential to make a lasting impact on township economies across the country. We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments, do you think Tite's approach could be a solution for other townships as well? What other steps can be taken to empower local entrepreneurs in your community? If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated on more stories about local economic empowerment. Together, let's keep the conversation going and explore how we can support local communities in building a brighter future.